Hello, Ken Weller here with New Tech Inventors. And the day's finally come, and we're running our ANET printers for the first time here at the print farm. We'll only be running 22 today because two of the printers have bad proximity uh, leveling sensors. And here we'll let the old man tell you all about it. Okay, I bet you thought this day would never come. I was the same way myself, but now it's time to uh, go ahead and fire all these printers up and get them going. I'm going to, I've got all the filament loaded. I'm going to go through now and start turning them on. And preheating. Okay, we've got 22 of them running. Uh, and I just checked the power. It looks like we're averaging about 16 amps right now. They lost the patient on one of the parts on this one. I have to restart now. Okay, we're just sitting here 
letting these printers run um, had a few problems. It looks like when I ran my test print the other day, uh, I used Brim on it, and uh, I didn't really think I needed it, so I decided not to have any Brim at all on these uh, prints today. Probably a mistake because I've already had three printers that have had one of the three parts loose adhesion. Now I am running a special part today for a special job and uh, you can see it here and that one is running with brim so I don't think I have a problem with it but some of these others uh, I've had to restart because one of the three parts <coughs> would lose adhesion and break loose. So I'm going to have to experiment around with uh, what I'm using on the glass. Um, haven't really had time to experiment with that, but uh, that could be part of the problem. Uh, also the bed temperature, I'm going to have to look at that. Right now I'm set at 60 but with the glass on the bed uh, it, they're reading around 55 to 58 centigrade so I may have to up the temperature a little bit on that so I'm going to uh, just rest here a minute and then we'll take a little tour and go down the line and see how they look Okay, as you can see, we still have a few printers just now finishing up. These are the um, ANET ET4 Pro printers, and you can also tell it's a lot quieter in here. Uh, these ET4 Pro printers uh, do run a whole lot quieter than the other ANETs, and um, it looks like uh, we have maybe two of them that aren't quite finished yet. And as soon as these printers are finished, uh, we've got one printer that's going to print all night, a little longer job for us. But we're going to be removing the filament uh, from these printers and then powering them down for the night. Then we'll come back tomorrow and do another video and we'll go through uh, each printer and look at the parts that it printed and see how well it did. And uh, we had a couple of printers where we had a problem where a part lost adhesion. And uh, we'll look at those printers and see uh, what the problem was. If it was uh, something to do with the way the printer was set up or if it was just uh, the the way we were trying to uh, get it to adhere to the uh, glass bed. 
All of these jobs are printing on uh, uh, glass. So um, we'll be checking that out tomorrow and looking at the problems that we had with a couple of these printers and figuring out how we can prevent it from happening again. So until tomorrow, thank you for watching and thank you for being a part of this great day here at New Tech Inventors.